broadly, there's three types of anesthesia. Uh, the first type of anesthesia, I think, is what most people think of when they hear the word anesthesia, which is general anesthesia. And that's where the patient is completely asleep with a breathing tube in. The second type would be regional anesthesia. This is where just part of the body is anesthetized. This would include injections in the back, things like spinals, epidurals. Regional anesthetics can also get even more specific, down to one nerve or a group of nerves, known as peripheral nerve blocks, to make an arm or a leg or part of that numb after surgery to help a lot with the pain. Finally, the last type of anesthesia would be monitored anesthesia care, or what we call MAC. It's basically varying levels of sedation that range from very light, say for a cataract surgery, where the patient just needs to be relaxed, to much heavier levels, say for a colonoscopy, which would be similar to the patient taking a nap at home. The first dictating factor is typically the type of surgery. Um, obviously, you're going to need a very different anesthetic for a hysterectomy than you would to um, remove a small skin lesion. Um, but sometimes surgeries have multiple types of anesthesia that might be appropriate. Say a procedure on the leg where general anesthesia, um, spinal anesthesia, or even MAC anesthesia with sedation may be appropriate. It's all about uh, risks, risks and benefits of everything and formulating the best plan with the least amount of risk and most amount of benefit. So based on a patient's underlying diseases, some types of anesthetics might be better or worse for them, some might even be contraindicated.